niggas get low. Baby, come here, hit the floor. Yeah. All y'all niggas better be wet, cause I'm coming for yours. When money involved, I look at it all. Baby, you know that I'm next. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a full face using only drugstore products. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, please continue to watch. I'm going to be doing a voiceover and talk through, so just to let you guys know ahead of time. Now I'm gonna start by using the Ruby Kisses uh, Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. I have a full uh, brow tutorial and I'll leave that above. It's basically the same concept. So if you'd like to see that, just click the link above. Then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Concealer in the color Medium in Cocoa, Dark Cocoa actually. And I'm using a Real Technique brush to sculpt my brows. Next I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid as a primer. I'm using this NYX concealer stick to as a base and I didn't really too much care about this but it worked out in the end and I'm using the AOA brush to blend that out next I'm gonna go in with my NYX palette in the wet n wild blending brush to blend it in that shadow in the crease area as a transition color And with the same brush, I take the darker shade in that palette and blend it underneath that. Now, because I didn't care too much about how that looked, I went in with the Morphe 350 palette to make it more deeper and um, pigmented. And I used the red brick shade in that palette and the two shades of, uh, below that red brick color, I used the darker shade from the Morphe 350 palette. And here's where you see I'm applying the shades from the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm using the M531 brush to blend that out. Next, I'm going to use ColourPop Shadow in Crickle, and that is going to be my lid shade. And I just wanted to blend that in a little bit, the crease colors in a little bit more. And I reapply the shadow, the lid shadow again, and then blend it out a little bit more just so everything can be cohesive. And I used the Nikki K eyeshadow brush from the beauty supply store to apply more shadow to the outer V area. Then I went in with the Wet n Wild Mega Line to create a wing liner. And I do have a tutorial on that, so you can check the link above to check that out. Now it's just a matter of getting this part to be straight. I'll do that with my concealer. So I picked up these Kiss Lashes. Um, it was actually in the Halloween Lash little section, but these are what it look, the box looks like. So, yeah, I thought they were, actually, I got it upside down. This is what the box looked like. Um, but I thought they were nice for them to be like the Halloween style. They're pretty, they're pretty good. See, it kind of looked like Demi Wispies to me. So, okay, yeah, girl. Oh. <laughs> foundation and I'm leaning towards the Maybelline because I've never used my Maybelline foundation on camera so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this <laughs> and um, so I'm just gonna go in with this brush that I got from from TJ Maxx yeah no Marshalls I found this at Marshalls so I 
I haven't used this in so, 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 so long. It's crazy. <laughs> I buy so much makeup and then I'll just find something that I really, really like and I'll stick to it. brush to blend out the harsh lines and go over it a little bit so it won't look so hard I am not mad at you drugstore okay <laughs> it's like because I know a little bit more from when I first started using this go on okay <laughs> I like it I'm gonna go, just go ahead and go in with my NYX palette that I haven't used since the very first video that I've done. <laughs> I just abandoned my products. Like I've abandoned my, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been abandoned my, my um, makeup. I need to go, I really need to shop in my own <laughs> makeup drawers. Cause literally, that is not cool. That is not cool. I'm like finding out that some things is just really pretty, okay? I'm like, okay, bitch. Excuse my language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, my name is Kanisha and I'm a makeup porter. <laughs> Seriously, like this is horrible. Like the fact that I feel like, oh, this is cute crap. Finding that out all over again. Okay, I normally like applying this Revlon Color Stay um, Foundation Press Powder with my Beauty Blender, but I don't have it right now. Okay, so next. I'm gonna use this cover, no, not cover girl. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama. Sleek Onyx is what is the, the color. And it's just a waterproof gel pencil. And I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes. So for my lips, I'm gonna go in with this Ulta Beauty lip liner in the color. It's two, it's dual sided. I think I'm gonna go in with, cause it's one that's bittersweet and one that is berry. I think I'm gonna do bittersweet cause it's darker than berry. And then I have all of these to choose from and I'm thinking I'm going to choose trust me maybe yeah trust me is cute from Ruby Kisses and like with these Ruby Kiss lipsticks you want to let it dry down a little bit first before you go to put another coat on because they do come off patchy, like really patchy. All right, I'm gonna go in with this Precious Petals from Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, this little highlighter. I hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up me shopping in my my own drawers because I'm a makeup hoarder and 
I need to get my life together. So if you guys like this look and my dramaticness, because I'm so dramatic, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.